Hello there, welcome to the first DMD2 tutorial. We are starting by how to install the app, which is rather simple. Just go to the Google Play Store, search for DMD2, uh, click install, and that's it. Uh, then when you first open it, you will notice there will be a series of permission requests, which you should accept so that you can allow DMD2 to use all its features. When you first run DMD2, you should notice that by default, the screen orientation is locked. So if you are running it on a phone, it will be locked in portrait mode. If you are running it on the tablet, it will be in landscape mode. You can change this at any time. Uh, you just need to go to the global settings. So if you are on a phone, just scroll the bottom menu to the left and search for screen lock orientation. You have the option to lock or not, and then you have the different uh, orientation modes available. So the next thing you should be aware of is that DMD2 can be used as a regular app or as an home app. So if after installing DMD2, you get a prompt asking you to select your home app, you can select uh, your a regular home app, the, the one that's installed in your device, or you can select DMD2, doesn't matter that much because you can change this at any time. So basically an home app is uh, what you're seeing now on the screen. It's where usually you have your apps shortcuts, uh, Google now, the app drawer, just like on any Android device. And at any time, you can go to settings, you can click apps, then you can click default apps, and then you can change your own app. So if you are using DMD2 on a dedicated device, a device that you are going to use only for navigation, then you will probably want DMD2 as your default home. And in that case, there will be no close button. DMD2 will always be running. And if you are using it on your personal phone, or a device that you are going to take home at the end of the day, then just use it as a regular app. As you see, it's really easy to change it. Uh, and if it's used as a regular app, then you have a close button. Let's look now at all the different sections inside DMD2. Each section is almost like an app on its own. You can access them from the bottom menu. And the first one is the home dashboard, which is where you can set up this nice dashboard, which uh, gets data from almost all the other views. You have a series of widgets, there are panels there, and we will discuss this later on another tutorial. Next, we have the map view. It's a paid section of the app. It's one of the most complex sections, one of the most uh, feature rich sections. It's where we spend most of our development time. There will be a, a series of tutorials just for the map, uh, but it includes offline maps. It, it can do route calculation, GPX files, recording, and a series of other features. Then we have the roadbook where you can load a PDF file and then use a, a remote controller uh, to scroll the paper up and down. And it allows you to select up to four different instruments. Next up is the OBD view where you can see uh, data from your motorcycle ECU. You will need an OBD dongle for this. And you can check stuff like cooler temperature, RPM, voltage, um, and a series of other sensors. The last section is the apps view where you can check the, all the apps installed on your device. You can use this to launch any app. You can set up your favorite apps on the top and you can even filter out apps that you don't want to show here. The last thing we will talk on this first tutorial is how to edit the bottom menu. So if you click on the cogwheel, you will go to the global settings. Here you can find the edit bottom menu option, which will show you this screen where you can hide or show any of the sections and you can even reorder them by tapping and holding and then dragging up or down to get the order uh, that you want. 
So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. This is our first tutorial. Um, be sure to see the other ones that are coming out soon. We promise to make a lot of them.